Measuring quantities is a crucial part of various fields, from science, engineering, to medicine. In our previous video, we've established different quantities and their measuring instruments. There are various instruments used to measure the same quantity, such as volume that can be measured using a beaker glass or measuring cylinder. However, each instrument can yield a slightly different output reading than others, also called the uncertainty in measurement. It's usually shown in the form of percent error or fractional error, but sometimes this uncertainty is not explicitly stated. So, we need to determine the meaningful digits of the measurement, called the significant figures. Significant figures are the digits that we can be certain about, plus one estimated digit in a measured value. Take a length measurement of 59.4 cm, for example. It has three significant figures. The 5 and 9 are certain digits, while 4 is a doubted or uncertain one. There are several rules to identify a significant figure. Number 1. Non-zero digits are always significant. For example, 12 has two significant figures and 1467 has four. Number 2. In scientific notation, only the digits before the power of 10 are significant. So, there are four significant figures in 2.326 times 10 to the power 12. Number 3. Zeros may be at times considered insignificant depending on its location and the presence of a decimal point. Any zero between two significant figures is significant. Thus, 2,304 has four significant figures. Leading zeros, the zeros that appear before non-zero digits, are not significant. So, in 0 0.00038, the significant figures are 2. Trailing zeros, the zeros that appear after non-zero digits in a whole number where the decimal point is shown, are significant. This means 84.00 has four significant numbers, and 8400.00, for instance, has six significant numbers. Trailing zeros in a whole number without a decimal point shown are not significant. So, 840 has two significant numbers. We also determine the significant figures in the mathematical operations. If we have two masses of different books, 1.312 kilograms and 0.45 kilograms, the first number has four significant figures, while the latter has two significant figures, which means both have different significant figures. Then how many significant figures must we write if we address both masses? When expressing the total mass of the books, we need to round the result in accordance to the measurement with the least number of significant figures. In this case, we round 1.762 kilograms to two significant figures, 1.8 kilograms. The same rule applies to subtraction, as well as to multiplication and division. In a multiplication problem such as 0.0281 meters by 1.3605 meters, the significant figures are respectively 3 and 5 digits. Therefore, the answer must be rounded to the lowest number of significant figures, that is 3 digits, and the result 0.03823005 becomes 0.0382. Up until now, you've come across the number rounding twice. Here are some steps you can follow to correctly round a number. First, determine the last significant digit of the number. Remember the total mass of the books which needs to be rounded to two significant figures? The last significant digit of 1.762 kilograms thus is in the place of 7. The number right after 7 is the number we need to round and pay attention to. If it's greater than 5, we round it up by increasing the last significant digit by 1. So 1.762 is rounded to 1.8. If it's less than 5, like in our second problem, we simply drop all numbers after 2, giving us 0 0.0382. But if it's equal to 5, we round it to the nearest even number. So, if we round 1.05598 to 3 significant numbers, we should write 1.06, as 6 is the nearest even. But for 1.02598, the rounding is closer to the even number 1.02. The concept of significant figures is undoubtedly significant in the fields that require a lot of measurement, such as engineering, astronomy, and medicine. Doctors need accurate patient data from the lab to give accurate diagnosis and informed medical prescriptions. As a student, understanding the concept can help you solve your science homework with extra confidence. Subscribe for more! Thank you for your continuous support, especially our valued patrons and members who have been encouraging us to keep producing more quality content.